Hello and welcome to the course on the Mid Journey AI. In this particular course, we are going to be learning everything about the Mid Journey Generative AI using which we can provide a text prompt and using that it will be generating our image output with the help of it. It is also known as text to image. And using this technology, we can create stunning looking images that look from the real world. And these images will be created with the help of an AI model that has been trained on tons and tons of images. So my name is Arwaz Khan and I will be your instructor throughout this course. Course. In this course, we are going to be learning everything about Mid Journey from a very basics to an advanced level. I will be showing you a step by step process of how you can start learning about Mid Journey and use it to create stunning looking images, as well as how we can use it to produce different kinds of output by providing different parameters, as well as different options that are available with this particular Mid Journey AI. So, if you are interested in learning about the Mid Journey AI, so what are you waiting for? Click on that enroll button and get started with the course. I'm waiting for you inside the course. In this video, we will take a look at how we can get access to Mid Journey Bot in Discord. So for that, first of all, we need to open our preferred browser and just search for Mid Journey. So we'll just type here Mid Journey and we will just search for it and you will get this first result for midjourney.com which says Mid Journey is an independent research lab exploring new mediums of thoughts and finding the imagination powers of human species. And you can see further details related to it and we can just click on this particular link and you will get redirected to this particular page where we can join this beta and you can see we can also sign in we can we can click on get started and things like that so on this page you will just click on get started and you will be redirected to this uh, quick start guide and you can just uh, go through this entire guide and how we can get access to this mid journey bot so you can see create your first image so first of all to get access to mid journey bot what we need to do is so we just need to click on join the beta and it will redirect us to the mid journey server which is a discord server you can see you have been invited to mid journey and you can see already 5 lakh people are online in this particular server of mid journey and in total there are more than 9 million members in this particular mid journey server so if you already have a discord account you can just uh, join this particular server directly so if you have a discord account you can just log in and after that it will just add you into that server but uh, right now i have not logged in with my account i will just give it a random name so we will just add the username as ai underscore art and we will just click on continue uh, we will just try to verify this by just uh, do filling up this captcha and after that we are good to go so it will just uh, open the discord with our mid journey channel so you can see it is asking for some details over here so i will just add some random details so if you already have your account it will not ask you much details related to this so if you already have your discord account we are good to go so for now i am not going to be creating the full account we will just get access to the mid journey so so you can see here is the server which is the mid journey server and you can see that uh, we are in the server you can see there are different channels that are available over here you can see announcements status rules faqs getting started welcome and this is the highlight you can see here are some generated image that it has created using mid journey bot and you can see here is some details related to mid journey the official server for mid journey a text to image ai where your imagination is the only limit so you can see and after that we can just click on events you can see what are the events that is happening in the server you can click on announcements so you will get access to any announcement the latest news related to mid journey bot after that there is status of this mid journey bot if it is not working sometimes so they will just keep you updated over here so that there are different rules and things like that so you can just go through this entire rules for creating different uh, ai art and what is the term and service of use of that particular ai generated art you can click on faqs where you will get answers to frequently asked questions after that we can just click on get started you will get how to get started with the this mid journey bot and create some ai generated art after that there is also a channel for welcoming the new users so you can just go through it and explore it and you can see the trial support is also available over here so if you are on the trial period so you can get the support from this particular channel so you can see there are newcomers room there are multiple newbie rooms that are been created for the users who are newbies in the server so you can just go through it and over there you can see that people who are just signing up to mid journey are creating multiple arts so you can see here are multiple arts that they are creating you can see similarly there are multiple rooms that are available that we can join and just create our ai art with our free credits that it provides so basically mid journey provides us with like a 25 free credits so we can create up to 25 images for free and after that we just need to move to a paid plan of mid journey so you can just go through 
the entire newbie rooms and see things like that you can also uh, go to the discussion chat where we can discuss things related to mid journey with other people who are present in this particular server after that we can go to the philosophy room and discuss the philosophy related to the ai generated art you can click on prompt chat where we can get different prompts from other users and suggestions for creating some particular ai art we can also go to the off topic room where we can discuss things that are not related to ai art or mid journey after that we also have the feedback room where we can give feedback related to the ai generated art with the help of mid journey so if you have any feedback related to it you can just provide that and there are multiple channels that are available over here so you can just go through it and you will get a better idea of uh, what all things are available over here you, and some of the rooms are only available for the people who are subscribed to the mid journey paid plan so you just need to go through it and if you think that it will be useful for you so you can just upgrade to the paid plan of mid journey bot so we will discuss about the paid plans in some other videos so i think that was it for this particular video on how to get access to mid journey bot so this is how you can join the mid journey server and get access to the mid journey bot so by going to this a newbie room so you can just create any ai art and provide some prompt and mid journey bot will generate some ai art for you so this is how you can use that so in the next video we will try to create some ai generated art with the help of this newbie rooms that are available for us so without further ado let's move to the next video of our course so in this video we will discuss about different subscription plans that are available for mid journey so if you are interested in using mid journey in your work so you can just uh, upgrade to a paid plan instead of the free because the free plan only allows us to create up to 25 free images with the help of uh, mid journey so over here you can see there are different plans that are available so you can see it is available in yearly billing as well as monthly and for monthly you can see the basic plan starts at $10 which allows us to create up to 200 images a month we get access to the member gallery we get optional credit top up and we get three concurrent fast jobs with the basic plan of mid journey after that we have the standard plan with $30 a month which provides us with 15 hours of fast generation content unlimited relaxed generations general commercial term access to member gallery optional gallery top up and three concurrent fast jobs so the most value for money plan over here is the standard plan because in the basic plan we only get 200 minutes or you can say 200 images but we can generate up to 15 hours of content or to create up to 15 hours of images and it is a fast generation and this will be a slow generation for basic plan and over here we also have a pro plan which uh, provides us with the uh, 30 hours of fast generation unlimited relaxed generations general commercial terms access to member gallery optional credit top up strength image generation and we can create up to 12 concurrent fast job so you can see the pro plans allow us to create up to 12 concurrent jobs at the same time but the standard and basic plan only allows us to have three concurrent jobs at a time so if you are just getting started with the uh, mid journey in that case i will suggest you to go with the basic plan and after that if you feel that you want to upgrade you can just do the optional category top up by just upgrading to the standard plan if you feel that it is very useful for you and over here you can just uh, go through frequently asked questions related to these uh, different plans that are available and also if you just click on yearly billing in that case you can see so if you go with the yearly plans you can see the basic plan starts at eight dollars a month if you go with the yearly billing so you just need to pay the amount one time which will be this amount which is eight dollars into 12 and you can see the standard plan will be 24 dollars a month and the pro plan will be 48 dollars a month if you make the yearly billing so you can see we get all the same features over here but the yearly pricing is low as compared to the monthly pricing so you can just compare them and if you feel you want to upgrade then you can just go with the yearly billing if you want to use it on your daily basis it totally depends on your usage of uh, how much you are going to be using the mid journey to create different prompts and creating different ai art so my suggestion will be if you're getting started go with the basic plan and after that you can upgrade to the standard plan so you can go through the frequently asked questions over here you can see what are fast hours and things like that what is a limited relaxed generations you can also see what if i want more fast and things like that what is the community gallery and over here you can see different things related to it so can i cancel my subscription plan and you can see you are free to cancel your subscription plan at any time but the cancellation will be effective at the end of the billing cycle if you change your mind you can uncancel your plan before the end of the cycle and you can also see can i change my subscription plan so you can see you are free to change your subscription plan at any time effectively immediately any remaining usage or time will be credited to your new plan so you can see if you are using the 10 dollar 
basic plan and you plan to upgrade to the $30 plan in that case you will be directly upgraded to this and the remaining credits from this will be also credited to your standard plan so this is how we can like purchase and get the premium subscription to the mid journey bot so for this you just need to sign in with your discord account on the mid journey so what i did was i just got over here on mid journey and over here we just uh, click on sign in and it redirected us to the discord authentication from there we just authenticated our account and we got access to this particular page so over here you can see the form as well and you can click on manage sub where you will get access to this particular page for subscribing to the monthly plan of this mid journey bot so this is how you can get access to the premium subscription of mid journey so i think that was it for this particular video on getting the premium subscription of mid journey so without further ado let's move to the next video of our course so in this video we will create our first ai generated art with the help of mid journey bot so for that first of all we just need to join the discord server of mid journey as we have seen in our previous video and after that we just need to come over here where we can see newcomers room you can see there are different rooms that are available over here for newbies so you can see new b4 new b34 so if you're watching this video in the future you will be able to access this newcomers room but uh, the numbers might change for you so just uh, avoid that and you can go to any newbie room from here so if i just go to this particular one and we can just click on this jump to the present and it will bring us to the latest art that a mid journey bot is generating and over here we can just provide our particular prompt that we want to create so in this video we will create our first ai generated art so for creating that art what we need to do is we just need to click over here where we have this uh, message box and over there we just need to provide a slash and after that you will be able to see that there are different uh, options that are available over here you can see daily theme and there are different uh, commands that we can provide to this mid journey bot and it can answer two different questions for us so you can see there are private public relax settings show subscribe and things like that so you can just go through it and see what all features or what all options it offers us so for creating a ai art what we need to do is we just need to provide a slash and type here imagine so this is a command that is available in the mid journey bot using which we can make the mid journey bot imagine something so we will type here slash imagine and in here we just need to provide our prompt or a sentence describing the image that we want to create so in this uh, example we are going to be creating an image of a cat wearing a spit so i will type here a cat wearing wearing pet and using a laptop and after typing this we will just hit enter and provide this particular prompt to mid journey bot and over here you can see it is asking us to accept the terms and service of the mid journey bot so the first time you provide this particular command to mid journey it will not generate the image for us instead of this it will provide us with this particular pop-up which says accept the terms of service so we just need to click on accept and after that it will be able to generate the art after accepting the rules and the terms of service so after this we will just type here slash and we will again to imagine and after that i will just try to paste the prompt over here which says so our prompt is a cat wearing the specs and using a laptop so we'll just provide this particular prompt to mid journey bot and now it will try to create this ai art for us you can see a cat is wearing a specs and using a laptop so you can see over here it is showing the status waiting to start and now you can see it has started working on it and you can see it is trying to generate different art and it will generate around four versions of this particular prompt so you can see now it has generated 62 percent and you can see it is generating it in the fast mode and after that you can see the prompt got disappeared and we just need to scroll down and find our prompt so you can see here is our prompt so you can see here is the output that it has generated so you can see here is a cat a realistic cat you can see that are in front of a laptop and they are trying to use the laptop so you can see here is the output that it has generated for us and you can see how realistic this picture looks like and how it has generated the output for us by just providing a simple prompt we didn't give it much details related to what should be the cat like and things like that and you can see it has generated a really good version of the prompt that we have provided it as an input so this is the output that we get by providing that particular input or prompt to mid journey ai so over here if we click on open in browser so it will be open in browser in full length and you can see here are the different uh, images that it has generated if you want to save that you can just right click and click on save image as and you can save it in your local system so i will just try to save it over here and after that we can just close this and after that we will just click over here you can see there are different options that are available over here that says u1 u2 u3 u4 and also v1 v2 v3 v4 so these are different options that we can use to generate multiple variations as well as upscaling the image so the u1 u2 u3 and u4 are 
are used to upscale the image and by upscaling the image it will convert this particular image that is at u1 for u1 this is the corresponding image for u2 this is the image for u3 this is the image and for u4 is the particular image so if we just click on that it will upscale the image and create a 1024 by 1024 pixel image version of uh, that particular image and it will upscale that particular image that we want to select so let's try upscaling the u4 image so if i just click on u4 so it will try to upscale that so now after providing that it will just try to work on this so if we just try to scroll down a little bit so we will be easily able to find out where is the cat being upscaled so you can see here is our job that is in process upscaling image with a cat wearing specs and it is our u4 and it is still waiting to start so we can just wait until this particular image is upscaled so we can just go back over here and we can also create multiple versions of it so if we just scroll back and just find out where is our generated image so you can see our generated image is in highlighted form so whatever we generate we get it in an highlighted form so you can easily identify the image that you have generated and over here you can see that there are different options for v1 v2 v3 v4 so if we click on this if i click on v4 so it will generate four different variations of that particular image for us so let's try this with the first version so i want four different versions of this particular image that is the v1 creating variation will generate four new images similar in overall style and composition to the image you selected so we have selected this particular image and it will generate four different variations for that so let's see if our art is generated or not so if we just scroll down and try to find out where is our task so over here you can see it has upscaled our previous image where you can see a cat wearing a space using a laptop so if we just click on that now you can see the image is more clear and it is now of 1024 by 1024 pixels and you can just click on save and you can save it inside our folder wherever we want so after this we can just scroll down and see the variations as well so you can see a cat wearing a specs and here are the four different variations that it has created for us of that particular image and style you can see now uh, here are the different uh, versions of it and i think i like the third version so we can just click on u3 and it will just upscale that particular image for us so if we just scroll down and there we can see that it is trying to upscale the image for us and it is waiting to start so it might take few seconds to generate the ai generated art in the newbie room for you so because there are a lot of people who are trying to generate different art for them so there are thousands and lakhs of people who are generating art with the help of this mid journey bot so it might take few minutes or few seconds to generate the art for you so till then we can just scroll up a little bit and we can also see what people are trying to generate with the help of this mid journey bot so someone is trying to create a blockchain software development agency and they are generating this particular art for their agency and this is a very good web design you can see and someone is also trying to create a design for nike shoes you can see over here and this person has generated this particular website design with the help of mid journey so you can just get inspiration from different people who are generating different art in this particular newbie room so let's see if our art is generated so i think it has generated the upscale version of that particular image for us so you can see here is the upscale version of the image that it has generated for us with the help of the mid journey bot so this is how we can use the mid journey bot to generate different uh, images for us and we can just click on save image and it will just try to save the image for us and you can see still we get different options over here light upscale redo beta upscale redo and we can also make multiple variation of this particular image as well so this is how we can use the mid journey bot to generate different ai art for us this was a simple example to get you started with uh, the mid journey bot in the further videos we will take a look at multiple use cases of mid journey bot and how to use it so that was it for the video without further ado let's move to the next video of our course so in this particular video we will try to add the mid journey bot to our own server so we are going to be creating our own discord server where we are going to be adding this mid journey bot into our own server so over here you can see the problem is that when we are trying to generate a image so in previous uh, images you can see that a lot of people in the server are trying to generate different images of their own and because of that our image is getting mixed up with other images that people are generating over here the images that we are generating are getting highlighted but and because tons and tons of people are generating different arts over here so easily our ai art can get lost in this amount of images so if i just scroll up 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 and you can see the first uh, prompt that we have provided to this mid journey bot so over here you can see here is a prompt that we have provided to the mid journey bot at first and you can see the different uh, outputs that it has generated for us but there are 
AI, lot of clutter over here. A lot of people are generating their own AI art by providing the prompt to mid journey bot. So this is creating a mess over here and we are not able to identify our own art that we are creating. So to overcome this, we are going to be creating our own server and adding the mid journey bot to it. So over here, you can see the upscale image that it has created for us by providing the input. And you can see there is a lot of clutter in between and different people are creating AI art using it. And you can also see that there are 62 new AI arts that people have generated in a span of a minute or so. So to overcome this, we are going to be adding the mid journey bot to our own server. So for creating our own server, what we need to do is we just need to click on this add a server. And after that, we will click on create my own and we will click on for me and my friend. And we are going to be naming it as AI art server. So we will just keep it by default, click on create. And after that, it will create the server for us. And you can see it is introducing app dictionary, search, browse, explore thousands of apps, customize, personalize your server, automate useful tasks and free up your time, add fun and delight to your community. So we can just click on check it out. It will just take us to this particular page. So if you are interested, you can just go through it and we can just click on this thing. And you can see here is the Discord server that we have created for us. And there are different uh, text based channels that are available. You can see general channel and there are also voice based channels that are available. So if you want, you can create a new channel over here and we're going to be naming it as mid journey ai art and we just create this particular channel over here which is going to be a text based channel and after that we're going to be adding the mid journey bot into our discord server so you can see over here if we go to the mid journey and over here you can see that there is mid journey bot that is creating the ai art for us so we're going to be adding it inside our own server so after that we just need to add the mid journey bot into our server so for that we will just click on this uh, show the member list and after that we can see over here the mid journey bot is available we will just click on it and it will give us a button where we can add it to a server so we will just click on add to server and it will ask us to add it to our own server so we will just click over here and we will select our server that we have created and after that we will just click on continue and over here you can see it is asking for different permissions so we will allow it all these permission and click on authorize so over here you can see that there is an error you need to verify your email address in order to add this bot to a server so we can see that we have created this uh, account directly and we have not signed up to discord and we have not added our email address so what we need to do is we need to create an account on discord and over there we just need to sign up with our email address and after that we just need to verify our account by just uh, doing an email verification and after that we just need to join the mid journey server again follow the entire steps that we did previously and we just need a verified discord account for adding this to our server so what i will do is i will just uh, switch to my personal account and show you the further step so if you have not created your discord account you can just create that and follow all the steps and after that you will be good to go with the mid journey bot so let me switch to my personal account and show you the further steps for adding it to our server so now i have set up all the things in our server so you can see we have created the ai art server and after that we have also created the mid journey art text channel for us so this is how we just need to set up all the things we just need to follow all the previous steps and after that we just need to go to the mid journey and over here we just need to go to any of the newcomers room and after that we just need to click on this show member list and over here we will get the mid journey bot we just need to click on it and click on add to server so it will try to authenticate and we just need to select our server that is ai art server so you can name anything to this particular server it depends on you so after that we will just click on continue we will allow it all these permissions we will click on authorize and it will ask us to do a human verification we just need to do a verification for this so i will just try to add and fill this particular capture and after verifying it will show us the screen for authorized and the mid journey bot will be added to our own server so if we just click on our own server so over here you can see the mid journey bot is being added into our server and the other member is uh, me so this is how we can add the mid journey bot into our own server so after this we can just go to the mid journey ai art channel and over there we can just add a slash we get all the options that we were able to use on the mid journey server and we will be able to use it in our own server and we have created a separate channel for this so over here what we can do is we can just provide a slash and we can tell it to imagine something and in here we're going to be providing a prompt so we will tell it to imagine a cat wearing pet and using a smartphone instead of laptop or phone and what i will do is i will just try to copy this particular prompt from here so once we are done with this we will hit enter and we will provide this particular prompt to the mid journey bot and now you can see in the output it is asking us to accept the terms of service for this particular mid journey bot so we will just click on accept and after accepting that you can see we will get this particular output over here and 
once we are done with this we can just click on imagine and we can provide the same prompt over here and if we hit enter so it will give us the output so let's wait for it to create or generate the ai output we can see over here it is showing the status as well waiting to start so it might take few seconds to generate the art for us so you can see now it has started the process of generating the ai art you can see now it has generated the art 31 percent and now you can see the image is uh, pretty different from the previous one so when we give it a prompt to create and cat using a laptop it was totally different cat over there and now you can see it has generated a different version of that and you can see here is the art it has generated for us so over here we can just click on open in browser and it will open this inside a browser window and we can just click on save image and we can save it inside our folder on our local computer so once we are done with that we can just go back and over here you can see it is now generating all the art inside our personal server for us so there are no other members who are in our particular server and we can easily use the mid journey bot over here so we have created our own personal server for mid journey bot and we are able to access all the features of mid journey and there are no any clutters of other users over here so we can also use other commands such as let's say we want to upscale a particular image so i want to upscale the u4 over here and you can see it has started upscaling the particular image for us as well as i want to create a different version of this particular image that is v3 so we will just click on that and it has started all these jobs for us you can see the status of the job over here we can also cancel the job if you want so if you don't want this particular one or by mistakely you have clicked on a certain image and you want to perform the operation on some other image so you can just uh, cancel the job and switch to some other image as well so now you, you can see it has generated four different versions of this particular image for us you can see there are the four different versions of the image and let's see if it is working on the upscaling as well so you can see it is still waiting for the upscale one so let's wait for it to complete this particular upscaling of that image so you can also see that we are also getting notification about uh, that it has generated the ai art and in our server we are also getting notification that the mid journey bot has completed the upscaling of the image for us so this is how we can add the mid journey bot into our own discord server and we can use the mid journey bot personally on our own server and we can create multiple variations of this image over here as well and we are getting all the features and functionalities that we get in the mid journey discord server so if we just go over here click on open in browser so you can see here is the image that it has generated which is of 1024 by 1024 pixels you can just click on save and we can just save this particular image onto our system so this is how we can add the mid journey bot to our own discord server so i think you got all the steps to add the mid journey bot into your own server so if you have any doubts or issues regarding it you can let me know in the q a section of the course i will definitely try to help you out with that and answer your queries related to it so that was it for this particular video on adding the mid journey bot to our own discord server so without further ado let's move to the next video of our course in the previous video we have set up the mid journey bot into our own discord server and we are able to access it in our own server so now let's see how we can change different settings of the mid journey bot and we can get the most out of it so for that first of all we just need to provide a command so i will do slash settings and if we just click on the settings so we just provide this as an input so you can see here are different settings that are available and you can adjust your settings over here so if you want to make any changes to the settings of mid journey bot you just need to provide a slash settings input and over here you can see adjust your settings you can see mid journey version 1 2 3 and 4 we are currently using the mid journey version 4 you can see mid journey test we are using the base quality you can also use the high quality as well so right now we are using the base quality over here you can see style is medium right now we can set it according to our taste you can just make changes over here you can see regular upscaling light upscaling beta upscaling is available right now we are going to be setting all these things to default you can also see there is a public mode private mode the private mode is only available if you switch to the paid plan after that there is also the relaxed mode over here fast mode and also there is an option to remix mode so we are going to be selecting this particular remix and we are going to be enabling this so using it it will uh, just give us a pop-up where we can change the prompt that we are providing to a particular image so let's say we want to create a different version of a particular image in that case it will show us a pop-up where we can change the prompt or we can modify the prompt and we can get a appropriate result according to our taste so this is how we can change different settings into mid journey you can select any of the setting that we want so if you want to get high quality images you can just select high quality also there is a style option as well so if you want style to be very high you can just select that if you want to make upscaling like a beta upscale or light upscale you can just change the 
settings according to your need so right now we are going to be keeping all the settings by default and we are going to be moving further and we have only enabled the remix mode right now so let me show you what it does when we add the remix mode so let me just try to create a different version of something so let me try to create a different version of this v1 so if you just click on that so over here you can see it is showing this pop-up which says remix prompt so we can just remix the prompt by providing some input over here so this form will be submitted to mid journey bot do not share password or other sensitive information over here so you just need to keep in mind that you don't add your sensitive information over here so you can see we already have added this particular prompt which says a cat wearing a spit using a smartphone so over here we can make multiple changes like we can provide a aspect ratio so by default it is uh, going to be creating a square image which is going to be a one by one aspect ratio if you want to change the aspect ratio of the image we just need to provide hyphen hyphen ar which stands for aspect ratio so we can change the aspect ratio by providing the like three is to two we provide this particular aspect ratio and click on submit so now it will try to generate our image with that particular aspect ratio and we can also change uh, the prompt and add further details to it so right now we are only changing the aspect ratio of this particular image so right now you can see here it is generating the output now you can see it is showing that the generation is zero percent now you can see it has generated the image 71 percent let's wait for it to generate the entire image for us so now you can see it has generated the full image so you can see how beautiful these images are looking and they are close to a realistic image of a cat using a phone so over here you can see i really like the second and third one and the fourth one is also looking great so this is how we can generate uh, that image and change the aspect ratio of that particular image we can also click on open in browser and it will open that particular image inside a browser window so we will just click on save and you can save it on our local system as well so this is how we can provide different aspect ratio to a image so if you want to change the aspect ratio of your image like 16 is to 9 or anything else you can do it by providing the aspect ratio by providing this particular argument so if you want any help related to this you can just provide a slash help in the prompt and we just hit enter so it will provide us with different uh, commands that are available over here so you can see getting started read the quick start guide where we get all the commands and things like that which are available we can also visit the website we can see these are the basic commands to create an image uh, info shows the information about your profile and plan of usage you can see subscribe get a link to subscription page so if we add all these commands we can perform different operations you can see extra option is also available you can see parameters are optionally added to the end of the prompt that changes how the image generate so you can see we have added this particular parameter over here which is for aspect ratio so over here if you just click on this so it will open a page where we can see all the parameters that are available that we can add to end of an image so you can see basic structure of how we can add different parameters you can see width and height if you want to add you can just change it to different aspect ratio which is known as ar or you can just uh, add the entire word aspect if we just scroll down a little bit you can see algorithm modification you can change the different versions by providing hyphen hyphen version and you can see if you want an hd image you can just add hyphen hyphen hd you can also modify the prompt by providing a negative prompting so let's say you want to create a particular prompt but you don't want certain elements to be added into it so you can just add the hyphen hyphen no in that case so if we just scroll down you can see there is also a seed so a seed number generates the random starting noise used in the beginning of the image generation using the same number across multiple prompts will use the same starting noise so this is the seed that we can use so seeds are random seeds which can sometimes help keep things more steady between generations so for instance you can see the same prompt run twice with no seed specified you can see here is the output that it has generated but after adding the seed we can see here is the output that it has generated so you can also provide the command as same seed also we can use the stylize command you can just scroll down and see what all commands are available over here and what all parameters that you can provide to mid journey bot after this over here you can see direct messages is also available to the mid journey bot so you can directly message the mid journey bot whatever prompt you want and it will try to generate the output for you there are some other commands that we can use you can cancel or delete a generation by reacting with a cross so if we just provide this particular thing so it will delete that particular generated art you can also add an image to your favorites by reacting like star so if we just do something like i like this one so if we just try to react to this uh, particular image by clicking over here and if i just try to type here star and we provide this particular star now it will be added to our favorite automatically and after that you can see we can get an image sent to our dms by reacting an envelope so if we go over here let's say i want to get this particular image into my dm so right here what i will do is i will type 
like envelope and over here you can see this particular envelope if we just react to this it will send this image to our dm so you can see if we just click over here you can see this is the image that it has dm us. so it has dm us all the four images that it has generated for us so this is how we can use uh, different commands like this and let's see if there is any other command that is also available so you can see you can add image urls to your messages to use them as an image prompt so let's say you already have a particular image that you want to take inspiration from so you can use that image as well by providing the url to that so we will take a look at that in the next videos so for now i think that was it for how we can change different settings of the mid journey bot and understanding what all features it offers and different parameters that we can pass with an image so if you want to know more about this you can just go through this particular page where different parameters are available so you will get a clear idea of how to use different parameters in different cases and get the appropriate output that you need so i think that was it for this particular video for setting up different settings of the mid journey bot so without further ado let's move to the next video of our course so in this particular video we are going to be creating some more ai art using the mid journey bot so let's get started with it so let me create a basic prompt over here so i will just provide flash imagine and we're going to be providing a prompt such as an abstract design track design so if we just provide this particular prompt to the mid journey bot let's wait for it to create or generate the particular design for us so it will take few seconds to generate this particular design so now you can see it is started generating the design for us and in few seconds you can see here is the abstract design that it has generated for us so let's wait and over here if we just open this you can see how beautiful abstract design it has created and generated using the mid journey bot so i like the third one a lot so let's try to make or upscale this one so we will just do u3 and it will start upscaling this particular image for us so let's wait so it will take few seconds to upscale this but now you can see it has up started upscaling this particular image for us you can see now it has completed the entire upscaling of this particular image so here is the image output that we get so now what we can do is we can just take this image and try to copy the link of this particular image and provide it as a prompt to mid journey bot so what we can do is we can do imagine we will provide this particular url over here you can see this is the entire url where this image is present and after that we will do add joker in it and if we just hit enter so let's wait for the output that it will generate so we are using this particular abstract design as a reference and we are generating a joker image into this particular abstract design so let's wait for it to generate the output so now it is generating the output for us now you can see it has completed the image generation 31 percent you can see here is the output and now it will take two seconds to generate the final output for us and you can see here is the final output that it has generated for us you can see the first design looks pretty cool as well as the second one the third one is also great but the fourth one doesn't look good at all so this is how we can use the mid journey bot to take a reference of a particular image and create or get inspiration from that particular image and create a output for us so you can see here is the output that we have for generated with the help of the mid journey bot and we have provided an another image as a reference to the mid journey bot to create a particular output and you can see here is the output that it has generated for us so this is how we can use the mid journey bot and provide a another image as an inspiration for generating another image so let's try to get some other image and try providing a different prompt so let me take this particular cat and we will just try to copy this particular link and we are going to be providing a prompt so once we copy the link for the image what we will do is we will just provide a slash over here and we will do imagine and we are going to be providing this particular link over here to this uh, particular image that we have copied from here and after that we are going to be adding a cat surfing in red water river on mars and if we provide this particular prompt to the mid journey bot let's see what output it will produce so let's wait for it to generate the output for us so you can see it has started generating the image for us and it will take two seconds to generate the final output so you can see we have added a uh, input as a cat surfing in a red water river on mars so, so over here you can see here is the final output that it has generated and you can see there is a cat and it is wearing a specs also there is a smartphone and the atmosphere is of mars which is red and you can see there is also a red water material that is present over here and the cat is trying to surf on this particular water and the river is also having a red water and the entire inspiration is taken from the other image that we have provided as in prompt to mid journey bot and it has added the specs as well as the mobile phone and taken the inspiration from the url that we have provided and it is also surfing in this particular 
red water scene. So this is how we can provide another image to the mid journey bot as an prompt and take inspiration from other images. So after that, let's move to some other example. After this, we will try to upload a particular image on our server and try to take it as a reference and create something. So let me just click on upload a file over here and we will just go to downloads. And over there, I think I have a image of Robert Downey Jr. So I will just try to upload this into our server and you can see now it is processing the image now we have uploaded this particular image on our server which is our discord server we will just try to copy the link for this particular image and we're going to be generating an art using it so we will just provide a flash image and we're going to be providing a prompt over there so we will just add the image link over here and we will add over here something like create a toddler version with futuristic vibe and we're going to be providing this particular prompt to the mid journey bot and let's wait for it to generate the output so we have provided the reference image of Robert Downey Jr. and we have uploaded the image to our server and we have provided the prompt as create a toddler version so I think I have misspelled version over here with the futuristic vibes so let's wait and see what output it will create so now you can see it is trying to generate an image of Mr. Robert Downey Jr. and it is creating a toddler version of this with the futuristic vibe so let's see what output we will get now you can see here is the output that it has generated you can see a toddler version of Mr. Robert Downey Jr. with some futuristic vibes that it has generated for us. I think the second one looks uh, pretty good but the other ones are not that great. So this is how we can provide a reference image to the mid journey bot. AI hey, generated art with the help of this. So this is how we can do that. So these are the different steps that we can perform to generate uh, AI art by taking a reference of another image. So I think that was it for this particular video on using the reference image and as an input to the prompt so without further ado let's move to the next video of our course so in this video of the course we are going to be discussing about some cheat codes that we can use in the prompt and it will create some stunning looking images for us so using this we can create very cool looking images with the help of these cheat codes that we are going to be learning in this particular video so first of all we are going to be creating uh, art with flash imaging and in here we're going to be providing the prompt so in the prompt we need to use a keyword or a cheat code that we're going to be learning throughout this video so i will be sharing multiple cheat codes or keywords that we can use to create stunning looking images for you so over here we are going to be providing a prompt so i will type here a uh, retro wave portrait of a cat let's correct the spinning over here of a cat wearing a hoodie and we are going to be separating it with a comma looking into the camera and then we are going to be separating it with a comma we will add futuristic city in background and we are going to be adding the keyword as synth wave i will just type it over here then wave so at last we have added this keyword or the cheat code that is synthwave so using it it will create a really cool image for us so let's wait for it to generate the entire image so over here you can see the final output has been generated for us and you can see a cat is wearing a hoodie and looking into the camera and there is a pink and blue wipe of a retro theme and you can see how good it is looking the first one and the second one looks very cool and the last one is also a very stunning image but the third one looks a pretty odd one so this is how we can generate and use the keyword that is synthwave and generate really cool looking retro style images with the help of mid journey bot so let's try to move to the next keyword over here so i will just type over here imagine a duo tone using it we can provide two different colors and we can use them into a portrait so i will do duo tone portrait as a wolf in the forest and we're going to be providing two different colors so i will do black and red and after that if we just provide this particular prompt to mid journey bot let's see what output it will produce for us so it will take few seconds to generate this particular image the previous image is also great so i will just try to save that for now so we'll just try to save it onto our system so we'll just try to save it and after that let's see here is the output that it is generating so you can see it has generated the output 62 percent and it is creating a wolf in the forest with a red black thing so you can see here is the final output that it has produced so there is a wolf and the background is in red and black and you can see how cool is this particular output i really like the second and the fourth one you can see here is the final output that it has generated by providing a keyword as duo tone and we can provide two different colors using it it will produce or generate the output image so we will just try to open it in the browser and try to save it so we will just try to save it onto our system after that let's move to some of the keywords so over here we are going to be adding flash imaging and in this prompt we are going to be providing the keyword as 32 bit isometric using which we can get a 3d look of a room so we will add here a room with futuristic computers and holograms with multiple monitors and we're going to be adding
providing the keyword over here that is going to be 32 bit isometric and after providing this keyword we will hit enter so it will send this particular prompt to the mid journey bot and it will start the generating the output for us and it will be a room with a futuristic computer and holograms with multiple monitors and you can see it has started generating the output for us and it is going to be giving us a 3d look of the image where we can see it in a different angle so you can see it has started generating the output now it has completed it 62 percent now it is 93 percent completed and let's wait so here is the final output that we get by providing uh input as 32 bit isometric so you can see here is the output image which give us a 3d view of an room so you can see there are multiple monitors present over here and i don't see any holograms that are present in this image but you can see we are getting the appropriate output that we wanted so you can see there is the image with a 3d look of a room with multiple monitors into it so this is how we can generate different uh, 3d looks of an image by providing a keyword as 32 bit isometric we can also use the duo tone keyword and the synth wave keyword after that let's move to some other keyword so that we can add another keyword over here so i will do imagine and the keyword we are going to be using is a diagrammatic drawing of something so let me add a diagrammatic drawing drawing of a wolf and if we provide with this particular keyword that is diagrammatic drawing of a wolf and we provide it as an input to the mid journey bot let's see what output it will produce so it will create a diagrammatic form of wolf and show us the output so let's just wait for it to generate the final output for us you can see it has completed it 31 percent now it has completed it 93 percent so you can see here is the final output and you can see the output is with a wolf in a diagrammatic form so how cool is that so after that we are going to be using some other after that let's move to some other keyword so i will type here imagine and we're going to be providing the prompt with a keyword as a water sketch so i will add here a water sketch for the color sketch of a cat using laptop and if you provide this particular prompt to the mid journey bot let's wait and see the final output that it produced for us so here is the image that it is trying to generate or oh, let's wait for it to generate the full image it has completed it like 62 percent and you can see here is the final output that it has generated for us so you can see there is a cat sitting in front of our laptop okay we got a really cool output for the fourth and the second one the first and the third one are only uh, image in front of our laptop where a cat is being drawn so you can see how cool images it can generate with the help of different keywords that we can add into prompt and with the help of these keywords it can generate the desired output that we want so it can generate different kinds of output like creating a water sketch and things like that after that we're going to be trying to create a movie poster so i will type here create a movie poster with a name hacker club and we're going to be separating it with a comma with hacking in the background after that we will just provide this as an prompt to the mid journey so we are going to be creating a movie poster that is going to be for a movie named hacker club with hacking in the background so let's see what output it will produce for us so let's wait for it to produce the output so here you can see it has started generating the output and you can see it's still generating the output for us so here is the final output that it has produced for us so you can see it has generated the image but it has not replaced the name that we have added into the prompt so you can see we can also generate different kinds of movie posters with the help of uh, the mid journey bot and we can provide different kinds of uh, keywords into it and it will try to produce the output according to it so we have already used multiple keywords such as watercolor we have created a movie poster we have used diagrammatic drawing of we can use the 32 bit isometric so it will create this really cool looking images of a 3d environment of a room or something like that we can also use the duo tone portrait and we can create a duo tone image with the help of this we can also use a retro portrait or we can use the synth wave keyword so these are all the keywords that we can use there are a lot of them so possible i will try to mention them in the pdf and you can get access to them in the resources of this video so you can just go there and download it so i think that was it for this particular video for using the keywords and cheat codes that you can use with mid journey bot to create stunning looking art with the help of it so that was it for this particular video so without further ado let's move to the next video of our course so in this particular video we are going to be taking a look at different tech weights that we can add to the prompt and create the desired output so let's say there are different multiple keywords in our prompt so we want to give more importance towards another keyword so let's say we are adding three different keywords and we can provide more bias towards it or a weight using which it will focus more towards the keyword that is more important to us so let me show you a demo of it so you will get a clear idea of what i'm talking about so over here if i just add a slash imagine and over here we provide 
two different keywords that will be house and to this house we are going to be providing a particular value that will be a weight value so for adding a weight value we just need to add double colon in front of the keyword and we just need to provide some value to it so for providing the weight we just add double colon and provide the value over here so i will be setting the value to one and we want it to be in different color as well so we want to add the second keyword as red where we're going to be adding the weight as two and we're going to be providing this particular prompt as an input to the mid journey bot and let's see what output it will produce for us so it has started generating the output you can see it has completed at 31 percent now it is completed 62 percent let's wait for it to generate the final output for us so over here you can see here is the final output that we get so you can see there are different house structures in the image and there is also a person standing in front of it in the first three and the last one is a image of a house but it is not focusing on the house instead of it it is focusing on the red color so you can see in the third and the second image that the entire image is focused on the red color so let's say we only want to focus on the house instead of the color so we can just copy this particular prompt and add it again over here and this time we're going to be changing the weight values so i will be setting the weight value of red to one and we're going to be setting the value of house to four so we are adding a weight to this particular house so we are giving more importance towards the house so we will focus more towards creating a unique house so basically we are setting the priority to a particular element in an image so the house will be of priority four and the red color will be on less priority as we are setting it to one so if i just provide this particular prompt so let's see what output it will produce so now in this uh, prompt it will be creating a house that will be looking more like a house and instead of uh, focusing on the red color it will focus more towards creating a really good looking house so you can see it has started generating the output for us it will take few seconds to generate the final output so now it has completed at 93% and you can see the house is looking pretty good in this particular image so here is the final image that it has generated for us so you can see here are different houses that it has generated and you can see in the second image there is a little bit shade of red and in the first image you can see the house itself is in the red color and in the third image there is a little bit red shade in the background and the last image is also containing some red color so basically here what it is doing is it is giving more priority towards the weight so in this prompt we have provided the weight to the house as 4 and the red color is at the weight 1 so the keyword containing the highest value will be on the priority and the and the keyword containing the less value will be less of priority so you can see here is the final output that it has generated and how much difference is there between these two images so you can see here is the first image and here is the second image so in the second image it has created a really good looking house and in the first image it has focused more towards the red color as we have provided the priority or the weight to the red color as two and the house contains only priority or the weight as one and in the second case we have added a weight as four for the house and the red color contains weight as one so this is the output that it will produce for us after this we will take a look at how we can use different seed values to get the image generated with a similar outline so let's say we want to create different images with this particular seed value that uh, this image is generated on so let's say you want to create something else but you want it to be in this particular form or you want to give the look and feel of this particular image to another prompt so in that case we can use the seed values so for getting the seed value of this particular image what we can do is we can just provide an reaction over here with an envelope so you can see here is an envelope if you don't find it you can just type here envelope and you will get the result so if i just do envelope so you can see this is an envelope icon if we just react with this particular envelope so you can see now the mid journey bot has dm us with this particular images that it has generated for us so if i just try to copy copy this seed value from here so you can see this is the seed value and the job id as well so if i just do this and if we just go back to our channel and over here if i just uh, add a slash imagine so this time we're going to be providing some other input so over here i will do a ski lounge in the l and over here i will be providing this particular seed so i will do seed and we're going to be providing the value that we have copied for this particular image so this is the seed value of this particular image that we have copied so i just need to add ski lodge in the l so by adding the seed value what it will do is it will try to get a ski launch in the alt but the image will look like or it will be similar to this one so if i just provide this particular prompt as an input so let's wait for it to generate the output for us so you also know how to get your images gm to you with the help of the envelope i will be showing you for the commands as well let it generate this particular output after that we will take a look at some other commands so you can see it has started generating a ski launch in the alt and it is using this particular images seed value 
value to generate the output for us so let's wait and you can see in the output this image looks pretty close to this one so when we are just providing the prompt to this particular mid journey bot it is trying to fetch a particular seed number or it is also known as noise with the help of the algorithm and after that it is just trying to generate the output for us but using the seed value that we are providing over here we are able to fix that particular randomness of the image generation that it is doing so over here what we have done is we have just uh, provided this particular seed value to the input as a prompt and it is now able to generate the images which will look or feel similar to the other image that we have already generated so if you want to get the feel and style of a particular image and you want to fix it and generate other prompts which are similar to it so using the seed value you can achieve that and you can fix randomness of our image that it is generating so you can see here is the output that it has generated for us by taking the seed value of this particular image so this is how we can use different seed values and provide the input to the mid journey bot to generate different outputs for us so it will take a parameter as seed and after that we just need to add the value of the seed that we want so if you want to get any images seed value so if i just do something like uh, an envelope for this particular image so in that case we can see that if we go to the mid journey bot so over here you can see the seed value of this image and the other image that we have generated is same so this is how we can remove the randomness of the algorithm and we can generate images which are similar to each other with the help of adding the seed values to it so after this let's try to create another similar looking image with the help of this particular seed so let's say we want to create a scenery where there are mountain river and a color that will be pink so what i will do is i will just provide the imagine prompt so here we're going to be adding mountain and we are also going to be adding some weights to it so over here i will provide the weight as two for the mountain and i will add the river as well and in the river we are going to be adding the weight as three and we're going to be using a color as well that will be pink i will just provide the pink color and if we just uh, keep it empty so in that case it will set the value of the weight as one so i will be just providing the value of the color pink as one and at last we are going to be providing the seed value so i will do seed and we're going to be pasting the value of the seed over here so this is how we can provide the parameter seed with the help of iphone iphone seed and the value of the seed number that we want to generate or take the randomness from so if i just provide this particular input to the mid journey bot let's wait for it to generate the output which will contain mountain river and the color will be pink so let's see and it should take the inspiration or it should generate the randomness with the help of this particular seed value that we have provided it so if you want to take inspiration from other images or you want to just get the randomness from another image in that case you can just add the seed value and you can change the randomness of the image that is generated so in the final output you can see there are rivers in all the three images as well as uh, there are mountains and a little bit of pink shade is available in all the three or four images you can see here is a little bit shade of pink in the second image you can see a lot of pink color is there in the third image as well you can see there is a little bit pink accent into it and the final image is in the pink color itself so this is how we can generate different images and you can see the inspiration of this image is taken from this particular seed value that we have added so it will not produce the output randomly it will take the value of the seed value that we are providing in the prompt and try to generate similar images if i just try to do an dm of this particular image so over there you can see that the seed value is the same that we have added for the other images so this is how we can just uh, add seed values to an image and remove the randomness of the output that is generated so after this if you want to remove any of the image that you don't like or you want to delete a particular image so let's say if i just scroll up a little bit and let's see what image i want to delete so so let's say i want to remove this particular image so what i can do is i can just click on reaction and over here if i just uh, add an x so you will see this post icon that will be a x if i just do that so it will try to delete this particular image for us so you can see the image got disappeared or deleted from our server and the mid journey bot just deleted that particular image for us so if you want to delete you can just provide a particular reaction to that image and it will try to delete or dm you with the help of the envelope and if you just add and start to it it will add it to your favorite so this is how we can use different features of mid journey bot and provide different seed values we have also seen how to get the image to our dms and also how to remove a image how to add an image to our favorites and how to use the different ways to get our desired output so i think that was it for this particular video without further ado let's move to the next video of our course so welcome back to the course in this particular video Video, we are going to be taking a look at some further parameters that we can use with our images so yesterday i was showing one of my friend that how to use mid journey and he provided this uh, two prompts over here you can see anime harry boy so 
This is the final output that uh, Midjourney has created. And the other one is the character from Dragon Ball Z, which is Goku. And he wanted to create a female version of that particular character. So here is the output that it has generated. So he was really amazed after seeing the final output that it has generated. And he don't uh, know much about this particular generative AI. And after showing him this particular image that uh, the Midjourney bot has generated, he was really amazed and shocked that how AI is uh, really moving fast. So in this particular video, we will try to use some other parameters such as creative. So let me show you how can we use this particular prompt. So let's say you want to create a different creative version of this anime Harry Boy. So if you just try to copy this and add a flash imagine over here and if we paste this particular thing over here and after that, if I just add hyphen hyphen creative over here in the prompt creative and after that, we are going to be providing this particular prompt as an input to the mid journey bot. So over here, you can see it is telling that invalid parameter. So for this, we just need to add two different parameters together. So for providing or generating this particular image, we also need to add another parameter in front of it where we just need to add hyphen hyphen test and after that we need to add hyphen hyphen creative so after this it should generate the output for us so let me just try to copy this again okay try to imagine again and if you provide this putting your prompt so now this should work well, let's wait for it to generate the final output so for using this particular creative parameter we just need to add a hyphen hyphen test in front of it and after that we just need to use this creative so let me just show you the final output that it is producing so over here you can see it has generated around four images for us but now it is only generating two of them because we are using the test parameter as well as the creative parameter so here is how it is generating two different images of a anime character that has a funky looking hair so this is how it is generating the final output you can see and now you can see it is working more towards uh, creating this particular image and the second image looks very cool and you can see it is taking a lot more time as compared to the normal prompt because we have added the hyphen hyphen test as well as the creative parameter so it might take a longer time to create or generate this particular art with this particular parameters but the final output that it will generate will be much better than the normal prompt so let's wait and you can see it has already generated at 95 percent so let's wait for it to complete this and you can see here is the final output image that it has generated and you can see that how cool this uh, image looks like as compared to the previous one so you can see so this is the normal image that it has generated with the, this particular prompt and now we have added the creative as well as the test parameter over here so here is the final output that it has generated for us so i really like the first uh, image that it has generated and second one also looks cool and it has added a lot of creativity to this particular final output that it has generated with the help of this uh, creative parameter that we have added over here so let me just try to do the same with the other prompt as well that we have over here for the Goku girl version so we will just add this particular prompt over here Goku girl and we are going to be providing the parameters as test and creative and after this if we just provide this as an input so let's wait for it to generate the final output and you can see it is taking longer as compared to our normal prompt so because it is adding the creativity to it and it is taking longer as compared to the normal prompt so let's just wait for it to produce the final output so here is the final output that it has generated for us so you can see here is the output and you can see this is not that good but it has added a lot of creativity to it and you can see the second image looks more like a girl and the first image is not uh, looking a girl at all so this is the output that it has generated by providing this particular prompt that is goku girl version and also adding the creative parameter so this is how we can use the creative parameter to add a creativity to this particular output image that we want to produce so if we just add this particular parameter in the prompt so it will generate two different images and if we just uh, provide the regular prompt so it will generate four versions of the image and we also need to add hyphen hyphen test before adding the keyword or the parameter as creative so this is the syntax of adding a creative tag into the prompt after that let's take a look at uh, some other parameters that is test and test p so let me add slash imagine over here so if we add the same input and if i just try to copy this anime hairy boy from here and paste it over here and we're going to be just providing hyphen hyphen test as a parameter and let's see if the final output that it is going to be generating for us so let's wait for the output so you can see it has generated the final output for us for the anime hairy boy with uh, this particular prompt that we have added over here so it contains anime hairy boy and we have added the test parameter over here so here is the final output that it has generated so by adding hyphen hyphen test parameter it will create an artistic look of the image and if we add the parameter as hyphen hyphen test p in that case let's see what output it will produce
test so we can use hyphen hyphen test and we need to add a p at the end of it so it will be test p and we're going to be providing this particular prompt to the mid journey bot and let's wait for the final output so we here you can see it has generated the final output for the prompt that we have added and you can see this image that it has generated with the help of the parameter that is hyphen hyphen test p it has generated a more graphic intensive image and by using the hyphen hyphen test p we can use the algorithm that focuses on the graphics more and by using the hyphen hyphen test it will focus more towards the artistic look of a final output that it will produce so this is how we can use all these three parameters that is creative first we have used a creative parameter over here you can see after that we have used only test parameter and we have also used the test p parameter so the test parameter will create an artistic look of the image and the test p parameter will create a more graphic intensive look of the image so this is the difference between these two parameters and to use the creative parameter we also need to add the test parameter over here so we need to add our prompt add hyphen hyphen test and at the end of it we can add hyphen hyphen creative so this is how we can use all these three parameters so i hope you have learned a lot from this particular video and how to use this creative test and test p parameters so i think that was it for this particular video so without further ado let's move to the next video of our course so in this particular video we are going to be taking a look at some more parameters that we can add to the mid journey bot and generate stunning looking images so let's get started with it so first of all in this particular video we're going to be starting with a imagine prompt over here and we're going to be using the parameter that is stylized so let me just try to find out a prompt so let's try to use some prompt that we have already added so let me just try to copy this one so i have added this particular prompt over here you can see cat eating dinner on a table watching tv and we're going to be using it and over here i will be adding and parameter that will be stylized we will type here stylized and after that we're going to be providing this particular prompt so over here you can see that it is showing that uh, we have not provided a value to it so let me just try to copy this uh, thing again and add it over here so if i just do imagine and provide this prompt and if we just do hyphen hyphen s so we can use a short form that is s or we can type the entire word that is stylized and after that we need to provide a value over here so we can provide a value from 0 to 60,000 so we can provide any value in between that so i'm going to be providing a value as let's say 5000 and after that we're going to be hitting enter so we here you can see that it is showing that it has updated the version so as we're using the version 4 of the mid journey so it is showing that they have changed it to be it between 0 to 1000 so now we will just try to change the value again so if i just provide the prompt and add a hyphen hyphen s over here so if we just provide a value as 500 so if we just hit enter so it will just try to generate an output for us with this particular style and it is going to be using the value as 500 previously in the version 3 there was no limit so the limit started from 0 to 60,000 and in the version 4 they have changed the value of the stylist parameter to 0 to 1000 so let's wait for it to generate the final output for us so you can see it has already generated at 93% and you can see here is the final output that it has generated for us so you can see the style of uh, this image is pretty good and also you can see that the cat is looking in the camera in the first image you can see the second image is also looking cool in the third image you can see the cat is watching tv and inside tv there is a program where someone is cooking food you can see the fourth image as well it is looking quite better and as compared to the previous image that we have generated with this particular command so you can see here is the output that it has generated previously without adding the stylized command or the parameter so this is how we can use the stylized parameter so if i just provide some other command instead of this so if we do imagine and we're going to be just copying this same entire thing and we're going to be changing the value of the stylized so we're going to be setting the value to let's say 100 and we will wait for the final output so now you can see here is the final output that it has generated with the stylized value of 100 so you can see the image is quite different to the previous one and it is looking really cool and we can add different style to the image with the help of these uh, different values and over here you can see the images are looking stunning and all the four images are looking very cool so let's try with some other value now so if we just try to copy this thing and we provide the imagine and we're going to be providing this particular prop with the value of 1000 and let's see the final output that it will produce for us so i think the final output will be quite different from these two images as we are setting the value of the stylized to 1000 which is the highest limit that we can set the stylized value to so you can see here is the output that it has generated with the value as 500 and here is the output that it has generated with the value of 100 so you can see there is quite difference between 
between these two images and the style of the image has been changed to a different one in these two images and you can see here is the final output that it has generated for us with the help of the stylized value of 1000 so you can see here is the output so you can see in these images the style is quite different and you can see in the third image the cat that is sitting in front of the tv is being shown in the tv itself and you can see they are watching the tv and the second image over here is looking really cool the first image is also good the fourth image is also good and these images are looking stunning so over here you can compare all these four images so this is the output with the value of 1000 for the stylized parameter this is the output for the stylized parameter with 100 value and this is the output that it has generated with the value of 500 and if i just show you the initial output that it has generated without providing the stylized command is this one so you can see there is a quite difference between all these four images and we can provide different style to this image with the help of the stylized command so you can just try this thing out and provide different values to it and you can add different style to the final output that it will produce so you can play around with these values to get your desired result so i think that was it for this particular video on how to use the stylized parameter with the mid journey bar so without further ado let's move to the next video of our code so in this particular video we will take a look at how we can generate a video with the help of the mid journey bot so a lot of people don't know that we can also generate video with the help of the mid journey bot so let me show you how we can do that so for creating a video with the help of the mid journey bot we need to provide a prompt over here so we will just add slash imagine and we're going to be providing a prompt so over here we're going to be adding a prompt as a hacker sitting in front of a computer i just try to correct the spelling sitting in front of a computer sitting in front of a computer and we're going to be adding a weight to this computer as three and i just try to remove this spaces from here so it will work i will add a comma over here and adding and hacking and we're going to be adding a weight to this hacking as well that will be two i will add a comma over here and we're going to be adding in a dark environment after this we are going to be adding another comma and i will just try to add a weight to this as one well. and we will add a duo tone over here i will do duo tone and i will add two colors over here that will be green and black black and we're going to be setting the weight to this values as well so i will set the value or the weight for the color black as one and for the green i will be setting it as three so after that we're going to be adding a last parameter at the end of this prompt to create a video so i will add a video parameter by adding an hyphen hyphen video and after that if we just provide this prompt as an input so over here you can see that uh, the video is not compatible with the version 4 of the mid journey so for that we just need to use the version 3 so for using the version 3 we just need to provide the prompt over here and we will just try to paste it and uh, at the end of it we're going to be adding another hyphen hyphen v3 at the end of it so it will be using the version 3 of the mid journey so it will be able to produce the video output for us with the help of that so if i just provide this as an input to the mid journey so it will be able to produce the video output for us so it will take few minutes to generate the final output let's see what output it will generate so you can see it has started generating the output for us so let's wait for the final output so you can see here is the final output that it has generated for us and you can see there is a person sitting in front of the computer and all of these four images are being generated so after this what we can do is we can just uh, try to get access to the video so you can see there are no video available over here so to get access to the video what we need to do is we just need to provide a reaction over here as an envelope so the mid journey bot will dm us with the images as well as the video that it has generated for us so you can see this is the video that it has generated so this is the entire process of how it generated the final image for us so you can see here is the output that we got so here is how we can get a video output with the help of the mid journey bot so i hope you got a clear idea of how to use the mid journey bot to generate a video output by providing the parameter as video and just keep in mind that we are currently at the version 4 of the mid journey and the video output will be only produced with the help of the version 3 so for creating the video we just need to provide another parameter to set the version of the output as version 3 so we have added the hyphen hyphen v as 3 so after using this we will get the final output of a video by just adding an envelope reaction to this and it will dm us the final video output so i hope you got a clear idea how to generate the video with the help of the mid journey bot so that was it for this particular video so without further ado let's move to the next video of our course so in this particular video of the course we will take a look at how we can add negative prompt and use uh, the quality parameter to change the quality of the image as well as how we can change two different versions of uh, the mid journey so there are in total four versions of mid journey so we will take a look at how we can provide the parameter to change to 
a different version and get a different kind of output using different versions of this algorithm so let's get started with it so first of all let's take a look at a negative prompt so let me just try to add a prompt over here so in the prompt we're going to be adding let's say an outdoor scenery we'll just add outdoor scenery and we're going to be providing this uh, as an prompt to the mid journey bot and let's see what output it will produce so after that i will show you how to use negative prompting to remove an object or an element from the image so you can see here is the final output that has generated for us so you can see outdoor scenery of uh, mountains there is water as well as trees so you can see there are different versions of it and you can see in all of them there is water present and also trees so let's say i want to remove water and trees from these images so what i can do is i will just have to copy this prompt from here and we will add an imagine prompt and we're going to be providing the same input that is outdoor scenery and in this case we're going to be adding hyphen hyphen no and in here we're going to be providing our negative prompts or the elements that we want to remove or don't want in the image so we'll just add water and trees and if we provide this as an input to the mid journey bar let's wait for the final output so in this case it will just try to remove the elements that we have added in the negative prompt and it will create a new scenery but there will be no such elements present over there so if you want to generate any image and you also need to provide the negative prompt over there so in that case you can use uh, the negative prompting and adding the keywords or the elements that you don't want in the image so here you can see here is the final output that it has generated now you can see there are no trees and water in the image instead of that it has added a house in front of it and there are mountains as well so this is the outdoor scenery that it has generated for us by adding the negative prompting and we have just uh, provided the parameter hyphen hyphen no and just added different keywords that we want to remove from this particular image you can see here is the difference between these two images side by side so you can see there are no trees as well as no water in the final output that it has generated after adding the negative keyword so this is how we can use the negative keywords after that let's take a look at how we can improve the quality of a particular image so what i will do is i will just try to copy this from here and we will add a slash imagine over here and after that we're going to be providing the prompt that is going to be outdoor scenery and we're going to be providing another parameter that will be hyphen hyphen q for setting the quality of the image so we can set it between one to five so with five value it will get us the most highest quality possible and with the one value that will be the default value it will provide us with this particular quality so let me just add the quality as five so we can get the highest quality so in my personal account there was some issue with the mid journey bot so i have switched to another account over here so you can see uh, i have just added the bot into our server and now we are good to go so we are going to be using the hyphen hyphen q and we are going to be providing the quality as five as we have discussed and i will just hit enter so it will try to generate the output so you can see it is asking for accepting the policy so after accepting the terms and condition it is now trying to generate the final scenery for us so you can see outdoor scenery and we have added an hyphen hyphen q with a value of five so it will create the highest quality image for us with the help of this so let's just wait for this final output and you can see here is the final output that it has generated and you can see that the quality of the image is quite sharp and better than the previous images that we have created and by default this value of the quality is set to one so if you add the quality in between one to five the five will give us the highest quality possible for the final output image so this is how we can use the quality parameter by just providing hyphen hyphen q and providing a value in between one to five after this let's try to create the same scenery but using different version of the mid journey so in total there are four versions of the mid journey and the latest one is the version 4 the previous version was the version 3 and there are two other versions that is version 1 and 2 so let's say you want to generate a image using a specific version of mid journey in that case what you can do is you can just add hyphen hyphen v and add a number after it so let's say you want to generate this scenery using the version 3 so in that case you can just add hyphen hyphen v and the version name or the number of the version so i'm using the version 3 now so let's try to create the output using it so let's wait for it to produce the final output so over here you can see it has started generating the output and also you can notice that it is producing the final output a bit slower as compared to the version 4 so the version 4 has the fastest speed to generate the final output for us but other versions were pretty slow as compared to the latest version so you can see here is the final output that it has generated and you can see this is the scenery and it doesn't look that good as compared to the version 4 over here you can see this is the final output of the version 4 and this is the output of version 3 let's try with the version 2 as well if i just provide this and add hyphen 
hyphen V and the version name as 2. Let's see what output it will produce. So here you can see the output of the version 2 of the mid journey and you can see the output is not that great as compared to the other two versions and you can see it is looking more like a painting instead of an real world object. So you can see here is an output that it has generated which looks pretty close to a real world thing and you can see in the second output we're using the version 3 it has produced more of a painting kind of look and the version 2 output looks like a oil paint that someone has created so this is the output that it has generated using these different versions let's also try with the version 1 as well if i just add hyphen hyphen v and 1 so let's see the output for this so you can see here is the final output that it has generated using the version 1 and you can compare all these uh, different output that it has generated using different versions of the mid journey so in this video we have taken a look at three different uh, parameters in this video we have taken a look at three different uh, parameters the first was negative prompting the second one was how to change the quality of the image and by providing different qualities to it it will produce the final output for us so for setting the quality we have added hyphen hyphen q for setting the negative prompting we have added hyphen hyphen no and over here we have also seen how to change different versions of the mid journey and generate different kinds of art and use different algorithms or different versions of the mid journey to get different output each and every time so by adding hyphen hyphen v and a number at the end of it between one to four will change the version of this particular algorithm and it will also drastically change the final output and the fastest output will be produced using the version four and other three versions will be a bit slower as compared to the version four so this is how we can use all these parameters so i think that was it for this particular video so without further ado let's move to the next video of our course so in this particular video we will take a look at how we can use preferred option and set a suffix at the end of our prompt so for setting all these things we just need to add a slash over here and we just need to type prefer and over here you can see prefer option this and there is a prefer option set so we are going to be setting the option first so we'll just add the prefer option set and we're going to be adding some name to this option so we will just add it as tube and we're going to be pressing tab to add the value over here so we are going to be adding different values or the parameters that we want to add by default so i will be adding the first parameter as hyphen hyphen ar and i will be setting the aspect ratio in is to 9 and we're going to be creating this videos for youtube so i have added the name for this option as tube and after that we're going to be adding hyphen hyphen video so i can use a video in my youtube videos with the help of this and we're going to be also setting the quality as well so i will add hyphen hyphen q and i will be setting it to 3 so i just need to add a space over here so you can add as many values as you want by just uh, adding a space in between and adding a proper formatting over here so you can add n number of parameters over here and they will be automatically set by just providing this particular parameter that will be hyphen hyphen 2 so after this if i just try to add it so you can see there is a custom option that we have added that is 2 and set to with an aspect ratio of 16 is to 9 there will be video and also the quality will be 3 so after adding this what we can do is we can just try to add an imagine prompt over here and in that we'll add that on a skateboard and after that i will add an hyphen hyphen tube over here so what it will do is it will automatically take all the values that we have added or set to this particular custom option that we have set so if i just hit enter so you can see okay we just forgot to add the version as well so if i just try to copy this thing again i just try to add the imagine and also set the version to version 3 so in that case it should work now so if i hit enter so now you can see by default it has taken the prompt as cat on a skateboard and it has already added this particular set of parameters that we have added to the tube so you can see they are 16 is to 9 it has also added the video hyphen hyphen video and the quality is also set to 3 and also we have added the version 3 because we also want to create the video and the video feature is only available with the version 3 the version 4 doesn't support the video feature so let's just try to wait and see the final output so it is taking longer as compared to normal because we have added the quality as 3 and also we are trying to produce a video as well as the aspect ratio of the image is 16 is to 9 so we just need to wait a little bit to get the final output so over here you can see it has generated the final output for us and it took around 5 to 6 minutes to generate the final output so here is the output that it has generated by providing this particular prop and you see there is a cat sitting on a skateboard and none of the image looked that good because we're using the version 3 of the mid journey 
any algorithm so let's just try to set another option over here so what i will do is i will just add a slash therefore so let's say you are going to be publishing all these images that you're generating to different platforms so in that case you can set different options over here so i will be setting another option for instagram so i will add insta over here and after that we're going to be adding a value so i will just add the quality instead of or the aspect ratio as two and we will just set this so let's just wait and you can see now if we just provide particular slash imagine and if we provide our prompt over here add hyphen hyphen insta and if we just hit enter so it will now use the version 4 of mid journey algorithm and try to create the final output so as compared to the version 3 it will take lesser time and then let's just try to see the video that we have generated for this particular image so if we just add in reaction with an envelope so it will dm us with the image as well as the video so if we just go over here so if we scroll down you can see here is the video output that mid journey has generated so you can see the entire process of generating this particular final output for us so it took a lot of time to generate this final output and it has created a video of 34 seconds which shows the entire process of generating this final output so you can just try to add an envelope reaction to the output to get the access to the video so this cat looks more like a mouse so you can see there is the output that it has generated if i just go back and show you the output of the version 4 so you can see this is the output that i was expecting with the version 3 as well and you can see there is a clearly a cat in all the four images and also it is sitting on a skateboard so with the help of the version 4 of mid journey you can create high quality output and get your desired result in the final out and in the final output you can see that there are four different cats and they are sitting on the skateboard so this is how we can use different custom options to add at the end of it and you can create n number of custom options so let's say you want to post something on instagram youtube and things like that you can just add an hyphen hyphen insta or hyphen hyphen youtube parameter at the end of it and automatically it will fetch all the parameters that you want to add with that particular image output so after that let's say you want to remove a particular custom option from here so for removing a option what you can do is you can just add a slash and we just need to add prefer option you just need to click on this and let's say i want to remove the insta preferred option that we have set so if i just hit enter and instead of adding the value if i hit enter again so it will just try to remove this option for us so you can see it has removed this custom option from this custom list that we have created after that let's say you want to add a particular parameter at the end of any prompt that you add so in that case you can use the suffix so you can add slash prefer suffix and over here we can just provide a value to it so let's say if you want to add an aspect ratio at the end of each image or prompt so we can set the aspect ratio as 16 is to 9 and also we're going to be setting the quality as well to 2 so after setting this we hit enter so it will set the suffix to this one so if i just try to add something like slash imagine that flying cat flying a uh, aeroplane and if we hit enter so it will just provide this prompt to the mid journey bot so you can see still it is showing something so the suffix is not supported with the version 4 so we just need to hit the suffix again so if i just add the first suffix you just need to keep in mind that what all parameters and values are supported by the version 4 and according to that you just need to add that so i will be just setting the quality to 2 and we're going to be setting this particular suffix at the end of it so let's wait for it to set this suffix so you can see now it has set this particular suffix so if i just try to copy this thing from here and add dash imagine is this thing and if i hit enter so by default you can see it has added hyphen hyphen q2 so you can just set the suffix and it will add this particular suffix at the end of any prompt that you provide and over here previously we have seen how we can use a particular option and set the option by providing that option it will fetch the corresponding parameters that we have set so you can see here is the final output that this is generating so you can see let's wait for the final output and you can see here is the final output that it has generated so you can see there is a cat which is wearing something like an aeroplane in the second image it is sitting on the aeroplane the third image the cat is trying to fly and in the fourth image you can see cat itself is a aeroplane so this is the output that the uh, mid journey version 4 has generated for us by providing this particular suffix so in this video we have seen how to set a suffix as well as custom option so i think that was it for this particular video and you understand how to use this suffix as well as the custom option that we can set so that was it for this particular video so without further ado let's move to the next video of our course